All right, welcome back to another episode of Achromatic Craft. If you didn't see in our last episode, we got this beef farm going so we can start getting candles for decorating our village. So now that we've got that in, there's one other farm that I want to get to, and that is a crimson stem farm. So we're going to go find a location. Let's actually fly over. We're going to go over by where we planted trees last time. So let's do that real quick. In last episode, we planted um, our trees over here. Kind of made some temporary tree farms. This is where we got the original beehives. And guys, guess what else came in? The same trees. I haven't chopped them down. But we have one, two more beehives. So we might relocate those here in a little bit. But that's not our objective today. Our objective today is to get a crimson tree farm. And what I decided to do is, since we already have the two type of trees out here, is to build in this area. So if you remember from really early on in, in this series, that was our starter home. We have the pit where this infestation, this gray infestation came out. But we really haven't built anything in this area since then. We built a few little design ideas for some barrels here and some lights. But really this portion of our starter area hasn't really changed much. So today is the day. We're finally going to put a crimson tree farm in here. And before we do that, we got to clear out some stuff. So let's do that real quick. Okay, we got most of that cleared out. I'll still clear out a few of these other little ones real quick. It's getting dark, so I need to go sleep. But now that we've got that set up, we're going to start looking at what farms we're putting in here. So let me sleep, and then we will come back with our first farm. Okay, and to get started, I've dug a little pit here because we need to build a farm to get our crimson fungus. So if you haven't done these before, they're actually not too bad. We're going to do one live. And everything you need is here in this chest. There's a few extra building blocks and a few extra redstone. But for the most part, this is all we're going to need, minus some bone mill, to get started. So I'm going to put some of this stuff in our inventory. Well, let's just get it all. And we're going to start building. This is going to be a live tutorial, so we're going to see how good my redstone tutorial skills are. So I've built out, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a little bit bigger than I need. So seven by nine is about what you need. We're going to find the middle. We're going to stick that here. This is all going to be the wiring that kind of goes underneath this farm. So I always like to put my redstone on some um, actual stones so that we don't do anything bad in the future and dig it up. So from here, we're just going to go three this way and put five pistons, three this way, and put five pistons. Messed that one up. No worries. We'll just fix that real quick. And here, we're actually going to need to have this dug out a little bit, and this side we're going to dig out a little bit, because some of our crimson fungus might actually fall in there. And so we're just going to make it look pretty. You'll see here in a minute why we did that. We're also going to put a little wall through here. And then another layer on top of that. What this is doing for us is building out the floor portion and helping us know where our redstone is going to go. So once we have this, we have pretty much all we're going to need under the base. So we're going to put a little um, redstone here. So you'll see how that hooks up here in a minute. And then we're actually going to run redstone all the way along these pistons. Same back here. And then we will hook up this redstone down here by just putting a few extra redstone pieces in like that. Okay, so that gets us essentially where our bone mill will be hitting this crimson nylium, which we'll put in next. So what we're going to do is we're going to need five because that's all bone mill can actually ever hit is a five by five 
But as you can see, there's still space on either side to push. So we're going to put some in there as well. So as you can see, we're getting our farm done pretty quick here. Now the biggest thing we need is a way to trigger this redstone. And with the invention of these observers, it gets a lot easier. So we're going to put a few of those down real quick. And I always forget. Yep, okay. Forget which way they look. So they look at each other, and if you see that, it's blinking. So if we actually put down redstone, it's going to be moving those like crazy. So we're going to want a way to turn that off. So I'm going to get my bricks back out here real quick. And we're going to build up a few here real quick. And then we're going to get out our sticky piston. And this lever. So the beauty of something like this is that we can easily put a lever up here pick that up and put it back down it's gonna make it super easy for us so i'm just gonna rehook this back up and if we do just this right now you'll notice it doesn't push so and this is probably super loud for you we're actually gonna break that and put a repeater and you'll see that the floor is now shifting now let me go grab some bone meal and i can really show you kind of how this farm works so let me sleep and get some bone meal Okay, and as you can see, I went and got some bones from our bone farm that's just down there. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It gets us a lot of bones and a lot of good XP. So the problem with the farm now is that that hopper, or sorry, dispenser, is hidden under here. So I actually want to, and I should have remembered this a minute ago, want to pull this out, and we're going to put some hopper chains down here that are going to help us feed this. And you'll see here in a second, the reason I'm doing this is when we turn this farm on, I'm just going to finish these out real quick. When we turn this on, we're going to get a lot of stuff that we don't need. And so I'll just jump over here. Did I already get it? Oh, no, we need to craft it. We're going to put some composters here that will help all the extra stuff that we get. We can just chuck down in into those and it will put it back into bone meal and feed it so real quick let's just break some of this down into bone meal i'm going to throw this in here let it soak in for a second and actually while it does that let's build out those composters they're not hard if you haven't ever built a composter before just a whole bunch of half slabs and i have to remember how to make half slabs Oops. So we're going to go with one and two of those guys. And we'll eventually put a chest on top of here so it's a little easier to load. But this is pretty much our system. Now, let's hope I actually got it right. So when we turn it back on, yeah, you see how fast this goes. It's just running. It's popping it. When it goes back and forth, that's what's breaking these. I'm going to turn it off here real quick. And we just need to run through, grab everything. And really what all we're here for are these crimson fungus. And so this is where in that hop in that hopper we'll be putting all of our extra stuff that comes out that maybe we don't need. And it's just gonna turn it right back into bone mill and send it right back in the system. But we might not even need to run it that much. We got 34 of these, and that's pretty quick. So the only other things that I want to do here is actually, let's just turn these into planks. Want to make an easy way for us to feed this farm. So the one idea is that a hopper or a chest goes here and here, and let's just stick one in the middle. So that way, if we do create a lot of bone meal, and I'll show you an example here. So we can actually just open this chest and access it right away instead of having to put it through the composter line. So that'll be a quick feed. That's going to be an easy way for us to just come over here. Turn this guy on. And turn it off again. We don't have to be out here a long time. We're only looking for the crim crimson. So we're going to get a lot of this pretty quick. We'll be able to compost the rest. 
And guys, that's not it. We need to do one other thing. Because not only do I need these, I actually need a space to grow all of these um, fungus so that I can start getting the, the fungus stem. Crimson fungus stem. Man, this is all new vocabulary. I haven't said these words very much in a long time. So we're going to build actually a big pit here. And then, yeah, let me do that real quick. And then we're going to actually build the building raft out. So let me show you the kind of pit I'm looking for. And I'll be right back. All right, and a little time later, we got this pit dug. And it's right next to here, and I'm going to show you why. Let's see if I can go down here. Fly elegantly. And this is where we're going to set up the actual tree farm. So the reason these things, and do I have bone mill on me? Oh, good, I can make some. Can actually grow up quite big. So I don't know if these ones will. That's a short guy. Well, for the most part, these ones were pretty short. But what I've found through kind of some testing in the nether... Oh, and I should probably show you that real quick. All right, so if you haven't seen me come through here for a while, not much has changed. We need to create some kind of tunnel that goes off in the different directions. But where I've been is... And you're going to get a little sneak peek. I've actually been trying to think of a way of making some kind of cool tunnel that goes through everything. Because we have down here where we've been get, gathering ne netherite, ancient debris. That goes over to the um, nether fortress. And then out here is where I've been growing all of my crimson stem that I've, I've been growing. So these guys are being saved for later. You'll notice that guy doesn't come up here because I've got these green fungus in here. But usually all I do is come in. Uh oh, grow that guy. Grow the next one. Yep, see there's one of those really tall ones I was telling you about. Sometimes they get massive. But yeah, I just have been doing this and then coming through, chopping it down, clearing it all out and starting over. But the main problem I've had here is when these guys grow, it's hard for me. Oh, I don't have gold on. Oh, good. I didn't want to die there. I didn't know he was there. I guess I should put on my gold helmet if I have one somewhere. There's one. Let's swap that out real quick so I don't die. But these tall ones are really hard to get up to. And so that's why I've dug that one down a little bit. Because I want to build like a scaffolding type look around these trees. So that I can be up on the scaffolding, jump on, clear all that out, and come down. So it should help us when these tall trees are there. There's an easy way for us to take it down. But that's what I've been doing so far. But let's go back to the overworld and build out that building and see what we're looking like. All right, quick editor note here. If you've noticed, my crimson stem is gray instead of what it normally is. And that's because Minecraft does not have any gray wood. And I want this series to be able to run smoothly, be able for us to build whatever we need to with trapdoors, doors, uh, fences, fence gates. So I've actually retextured all of the crimson stem products to be grayscale. So that's a quick note of why mine are gray. And that's just because we want to be able to really build out whatever we want to. Okay, I had to show you this. I have not seen a baby hoglin and a baby piglin together. That is so awesome. And like a day later in real life, we finally have something here, I think. So, it's a little plain. I want this to look very much like a factory. So, what you're seeing here with the cobblestones is eventually where pathways are going to go. So, what I tried to do is center a door here for where this path comes down. So, let's go check that out. And we'll have to do some um, landscaping out here. But the idea is that you come in and you see right down the pit. All those white wools are eventually where I'll plant trees and grow them up. There's plenty of room for them to grow. I've got ladders that go down pretty easy. You just go down. But as you can see, I haven't quite finished the pit down there. So that's going to be what we do next. But what's cool about this is there's scaffolding. So if any of them grow tall, we can come here, jump onto the tree, take down what we need, and then do the work down there. 
And then here, I reconfigured this just a little. So we still have the chest here that feeds in um, to our, our dispenser there. But I also hid our composters. So you can see the composter there and the chest there. So hid those a little bit away. Tried to make this as grayscale as possible. I know we're growing bright red things in here, but at least we could hide a few of it. And longer than I would like to admit later, you can see we got the trees in. I'm still working on the paths. You can see where I need to put some half slabs. We at least got the front side of this. We're gonna have to figure out what goes on the back later. Guys, I still don't have the inside of this done. I don't know why, but I can't think of what these walls should be. So maybe it's gonna be something boring, but I'm gonna get it done. We're gonna look at what this farm looks like and then we'll call it an episode. So let me get that landscaping and the inside done and I'll be back. Now that we have most of the landscaping done, I think we're looking pretty good. We'll obviously keep working on this area. We got some crops in, got some other little bushes, some trees. So I think it's looking pretty good out here. We'll figure out the other side when we figure out what's going over there. Might be a good place to introduce some of the smaller village type houses that people still live around factories. But I gotta take you inside, show you what's going on and how this is gonna work. Actually, let me just dump off some of our stuff here real quick. Because what I want to show is kind of how this uh, farm's going to work. Fly down here and wanted to show you this. I think this room turned out really cool. Um, I was able to get a lot of texture on these walls, but in reality it's just deep slate, deep slate walls, stone bricks, and then some um, diorite walls. So we're able to get a lot of texture down here and it looks makes the walls look really cool. And then all we gotta do is wherever there's a crossway here is where we're gonna put one of these. And then I wanna bring enough bone mill that we have it down here. But the idea is that we would just bone mill these guys up. And you can see I'm gonna need more bone mill. But now what's cool is since I can't reach up that high, we can just come right back up the ladder to our kind of makeshift scaffolding type place. And we can jump right on top of these. Be able to take it down and yeah, use the wood. And then this stuff, what's cool about this is, let me jump, see if we can get back up. That didn't work too well. What's also cool about these is I'm going to collect them as well. Um, even though we'll never use this color, these are also compactable and put them in here. Now go in and get composted. And guys, that's it. That is how easy this farm is. Um, we got our trees in here that we can grow, get all the crimson stem we need. Anytime we need more of this fungus, we can come in here and grab some. But guys, that is going to do it Do it for today in today's build. I think we got a lot done. Uh, this ended up being a lot bigger project than I thought, mainly because I decided to do some of the landscaping and get some of these roads in. You'll notice when I'm in a mood to do something, I tend to like to do a little extra so I don't have to do it again in the future. So guys, that is going to be it for today. And for our Crimson Farm, let me know down in the comments what you think of today's build and if you have any ideas of what we should do next. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.